What's up, gang? This is Ken Zer, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, the villain for the Noso Trill again. We are back on Dongan Rampa 2. Bye bye, despair. Last episode, I actually recorded a minute ago. Not literally a minute ago, I mean figuratively, like a long time ago. What did, I, what did we live off? We was inside. Okay, last episode, we basically confirmed that the Dongan or uh, Trigger Happy Havoc happened before this. So everything in Trigger Happy Havoc is canon. We know that. And this is the motive. We're being locked in here. We can't leave until somebody's murdered. That's what's going on, if I remember. So let's see what this is, actually. There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. Looks like there are sunflowers, but I, I guess there aren't any strawberries. Yup. <laughs> let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it'll solve everything. He's gonna kill me. No matter what, look, everywhere, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might just get sick of them. Uh, according to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about the soda fountain? I don't really want to drink any. I don't want to really drink anything that comes out of his eyes. You nasty bastard! Hey, yo, why are you looking at me? Watch, watch, watch that! Watch out! Huh? I've been found. Watch out, dude! Staring at me like that. I don't appreciate that, bro. What? Are you thirsty? No, I'm fine. I see. If you ever get thirsty, let me know. It looks like he really wants to use this fountain feature. All right, bro. I am not drinking anything that comes out of another man. According to the map, there should be guest rooms on the, in the lounge on the second floor. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all yours. Yeah, got it. Okay, I don't know what this is. These are the guest rooms. He said he'll explore the guest rooms. I'm exploring them too. I'm not leaving it up to him. He's kind of stupid, you know? What happened in here? Okay, a broken monitor. Monitor used to communicate with us. Future Foundation is behind this. The fact that Monokuma uses this screen means he's their ally. Future Foundation are all our enemies. Can you say something more useful than that though? Is that all, like, that, that's the only thing you can think of? Let's check out the guest rooms. Huh? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Then... I should go explore another place first. Sound like somebody's in there. Oh, I'm gonna go in there. Oh, it's these hey, two. Hey, hey what you want to talk about? Well, well, you know. I'm sure you don't want to hear this as I caused a similar accident, incident. And I already know a, a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... Hmm. But when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? And spit it out. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know, because I know what you're going through. Huh? So. The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. you feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like. Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So. But like you said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me. Sorry. Sorry. Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, what are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. No, I want that! Give me the Monokuma! Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Yeah, she's a little stupid, guys. Y'all have to understand. What you got for me? Jeez. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Hiyoko and Ibuki. Those two are quite the noisy bunch. It's as if a fire was smothered. And I can't believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. 
that's why no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came that you came back to us. And I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. So this is the lounge. It's also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. Yo! How meaningless. To think this savage tone would confuse me. I have waited for you, invading Black Dragon Champee. Exert your strength to your heart's content. I shall wait until Champee returns with his reports. He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I see. I this see. place is supposed to be a lounge. But it appears it may not, I may not be able to calm myself down and relax in here. Seriously, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste, but this is worse. You are right. I agree. My Akuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Shock an Indian? What? Is that racist? Was that... Sonya, was that racist? Don't be racist, Sonya. That's not nice. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't gonna help things. Can I call my mommy? Oh, there's a telephone. The fact that a phone in the building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed it. The wire's cut. Is that a grape? Instead of number buttons, there was a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sounds like it's. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's still going. No one's picking up. Let me tell you. This. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not dangerous. Aside from the button, it's like any other regular phone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. I don't even know who where it's connecting to. This too must be Jeez. the of causality. What's going on? My four dark days of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's too soon to give up. I leave that matter to your discretion. Good. I leave this matter to your discretion. All right. I just tried exploring the first floor. Is that Bill Clinton? Old portrait hanging on the wall. Why'd there be a portrait in a place like this? Seems very out of place. The placard on his portrait. Pope's Peak founder, Izuru Kamukura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope's Peak be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce, is it? Izuru Kamakura? It's Izuru Kamakura. That's not difficult, is it? Or am I saying it wrong? I could be saying it wrong. What is that? Stop that. Uh oh, what the freak? Bro, just did a looky loop. Wasn't terribly important. Wasn't well, anything terribly important on the third and second floor. That doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. What is Nigai doing here? This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of the bathroom. I can't take a peaceful crap like this. Preventing me from taking a good crap. This house is certainly defective. Like, this is a bathroom. Every time I go to a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? You're a robot and you're still constipated? No. No. Hell no. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna get you out the way. I wanna talk to Chiyaki. What? Is there anything you wanna say to me? I forgot, he thinks I'm a killer, bro. He thinks I'm the spy. The possibility is zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but it's never gonna be zero no matter what. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. 
I understand that. I can't fault him, honestly. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Huh? Why is that? Hmm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What the freak was that? What is she on about? Okay, bro. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Ugh. What's here? Oh? I see, so this is Strawberry Hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. Is that a cause? Strawberry Tower's on the other side of this door, right? According to the map, that's correct. <laughs> However, this order is all wrong! It obviously makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor before going to other areas! Uh, okay, you don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> is that sarcasm to warn me for having no heart? There's no way I'm gonna let that bring me down! You seriously don't feel down, huh? Hold on. Hold on, how does it go? How does it go? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, how does it go? We go in the mass today, we have to pray for sound what the pastors say, I have to say, since Pot passed away, most of rappers don't even deserve a track from me. Oh, this isn't an elevator? But that's weird, the only stair between the building, second floor and third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? And so without really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but it looks like this elevator is not usable. Stupid elevator. Final dead room. Let's let's see what this is. I'm not I'm not scared at all. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. All right. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game? The hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid, who the hell is gonna do that? What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth, it's not even, it's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the others should be at Strawberry Tower at the back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit. Let's get going already. According to the map, Strawberry Tower on the other side of this door. Huh? There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you have to press the button that's next to the door. You know, the one that has open written on it? Stupid. I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I... Wait, seriously? Anyway, I just have to press this button then. Monokuma raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Bro, just let the door open. Stop. So this is Strawberry Tower, huh? Building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Jeez. Jeez, more of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why the freak is there a grape in front of me? Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Why is there a grape? Why is there a grape? There's a picture on the floor of Susami's face. 
She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. Yeah, that would suck. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower. <laughs> Rape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one on our lounge phone and the one we found near the first floor elevator? No. Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? I doubt mm -hmm. that. Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean the that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door! Nekomar let out a battle cry, grabbed the door knob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However... What does this mean? The door knob won't budge, not even one bit! Is it locked? Well, crap, it appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! In that case, I'll use my full power! Whoa! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands, but... Not yet! Here comes the incredible strength of one million horsepower! Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here! That would be bad! So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you try to force your way through? I see. Uh, you have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. So let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. I need Nida to die already, bro. I, I need him dead. I need Maknekamaru dead. It's not that I don't like him. Bro, voicing him does a, is a terrible strain on my throat, bro. It's a terrible strain on my throat. If he dies, then I'll probably never get laryngitis again. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Yeah, they clearly not rocking with your boy. What's Chiaki's phone number? Hold on, shut up. Is it just me or does this seem right by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Somebody died, all right. Can't wait. What are you looking at? Hajime. I was waiting for you, you know? Why were you waiting for me? Um... Monokuma said he'll be presenting something when everyone is here. Monokuma. What do you want, cocaine addict? Yo! How you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called Contact Elevator! Let me ask. Contact Elevator, you say? Hey! Hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail. So even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then why does it, then does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Mm -hmm. Great Grape House. Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later. Well, we can worry about the detail when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I, I don't really get it, but it looks like you wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? And now we must ride this elevator, right? Are we screwed? Well, what should we do? Show some spirit! We just have to go for it! The only way we can overcome this situation is by making a move! I mean... But still, you know... <laughs> what, you scared? Of course not! Hell no! <laughs> Hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Huh? Fine, I'll freaking go! I'm not scared at all! Well, I don't have it as bad as Katsuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here doing nothing. All right, let's go. When I press the gray button next to the door, it immediately opened. We stepped onto the elevator and off we went to Grape House. I don't like that. Is this already moving? Oh, is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. Hey, so. hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open that door and make sure. You must not. You cannot, that is dangerous. After staying inside the vibration free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. 
What? Yo, the ad, oh, yo! I don't gotta play it on freaking. Oh, okay. I told y'all right that I beat Persona Three Reload, right? All right. I wasn't. I didn't want to wait for the for the um uh, for them to drop the answer. So I was just gonna like play the FES version, honestly. But they're dropping it already. They just announced it like right now. I just saw it. They announced it. So hey, I'm not playing FES anymore. I guess I can still kind of upload it, you know. I can still upload it for funsies. But that's not I'm not gonna be playing it anymore. It appears we were right at our destination. So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Ta! This is the Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first floor. Ahem! Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grape Hall on this side. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there'll be a Grape Tower. The second floor of Grape House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of each type along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. You want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions? Feel free to study the literature here. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour. But I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Like like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. Oh, what are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game. How can there be any tension if there's no time limit? <laughs> so I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put... <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death. Lies. What the heck? <laughs> is that Sakura? If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey, hold on! What? Starve. How much more does we have to take until he's satisfied? He was serious about there being no food? No way, that's the one thing I don't want! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already! As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome with hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm! Now that the time for you to panic! Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us, so for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right? After all, if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right for you, Hiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey! Hold on! This, is not, this time around, I really want to pair up Miss Sonya. Like... She already left with Gundam. Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akana, you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Damn. Where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Start with the most suspicious place. All right, let's start with Grape Tower. Let's start with Grape Tower. Find the exit. No way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Man, I hope I hope she doesn't become the killer. But is that Sakura? What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambiance at all. There's a name written on it here. Ogre. Does that mean if it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? That's Sakura, bro. Starting to get pumped up. Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. But why is there a statue like that in a place like this? I'm gonna do it. Wait, is this creature inside this building? I don't think so. This is probably in a hall just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? <sighs> you mean like a food garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? It's not food, it's just decoration. Beyond this door. Show some spirit! 
vigorously slammed the door more times than he needed to. It's not opening. That's weird. We were at Strawberry Hall. This should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine, time to, for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Did you hear something? And that's when Nakamura started shouting. The door opened. What was that posture just now? Why didn't it open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is in the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, the wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. No crap. There's something blatantly different over there. On the Grape Tower door far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry huh? Tower. So on Strawberry side is a grape door, and grape side is a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. Okay, yes, yes, I understand. If so, the only thing we can do is try. Oh, yes, yes, ma'am. I heard what you guys were discussing, but I think it's pointless to even try, I think. What? What did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Mm. It's exhausting being around those two. So you ran away. Yes! The GOAT is here with me! Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found the secret of the Funhouse destruction. Secret of destruction? Want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? <sighs> yes. Well, pay, very cl pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower. See? On the other hand, Grape House... Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I just know what she's about to say. They're just connected to each other. If you open this... if Even if you could open the door, you'll just go to Strawberry Tower. It's just connecting. Walk along and you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Now here comes the main point with these two buildings. Whoa. Ah, so you were here all along. Bro, go hey. away. Hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly, I was worried about you. Kazuichi Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Yeah. Oh, was that, was, was that annoying for you? Right. Hell yeah, it was. I want to be alone with a creep like you. This is troubling. I see, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard! Huh? Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering huh? people. That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time. Oh, well, yeah. There aren't any... There aren't many areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. Right now, the only thing I found out is... There's seriously no food anywhere! This ain't funny at all! I heard it was super painful to die from starvation. What happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You, you imbecile, what are you implying? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark devils of destruction, your body would be incinerated by the hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters gonna be okay without food? I shall engulf this food. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. <gasps> Let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Yaka continue her talk, but... Oh well, I shall listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. 
Is it fun of Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> In search, mongrels, I have discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. Think their priorities are off slightly. Alright, Fuyuhiko, talk to me. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. Second floor of Grey Palace also has guest rooms similar to the ones in second floor of Strawberry House. Hmm. But instead of being covered with straw- Okay, yes, yes. Great pattern. Also. Like the guest room, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a photo in the lounge too. Instead of a great button that was on the photo of Strawberry Lounge, there's a strawberry button on the photo of the Great Bands Lounge. Alright. Now then. Now I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on the phone buttons, a picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connect. She just said that, Hajime. That's probably it. Uh, who is representing? Huh? We should first listen. Shut up. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi and you lowly humans. Yeah. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice and the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold the motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... that? That's just a radio control toy. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. And my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody ever bought me a toy before. But I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up, shut I'm not asking about that! You mean the ship part you found just on a remote control toy? Loser! You totally got tricked, you loser! I never said a single word about the ship being real, stupid, idiot, moron, nigger! L looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. We might have to kill him. If so, what he said about our student profile might also be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. All right, talk to me. Now then. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me. Since I'm the one who made the discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at all. Which means it's not that. I'm okay, shut up and talk. Hey, bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Uh, well, it's about the third floor of the Grape House. See? Remember when Mon- Archive, yes, Archive. I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who built their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. And it looks like we don't ever need to go in there ever. Actually. Uh, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. A lost child. What? Uh-huh, where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide, come on out! <laughs> Hello? So the lost child was you. Right? right, that's how people react, right? Well, I had the general idea of how you would all react. <laughs> it's okay, I won't get depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. How sad, it's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um... Did Monokuma bring you up here as well, Monami? <laughs> Yes, I'm ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Uh, nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy you're here. Hey, are, are you completely stuffed animal? Is there any part of you that's still rabbit meat? I'm expected to be food? What? Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? 
This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse. Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're currently in and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside the strawberry house, Strawberry Hall is on your left. Yes, yes, yes. Back to faith in the elevator. Um, Inside the grape house, Hall is on your right when you're back to faith in the elevator. But think about it and put those two together. Yes, mm. exactly what I said earlier. The two tiles are the same building and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are in the same building? That might be a possibility. Come on, let's take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same same one as the elevator? Then in the same way, wouldn't it mean the door and the image is showing where it, the image on the door is showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Well, as far as the opposite. The grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning we opened the Grape Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either the Strawberry Tower or the Grape Tower. Perhaps. That means when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door, that will we used when we came in here. Yep. Yep, the great picture that should actually be on here all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side, mm. that might be possible. Impossible. What? Impossible, why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were the first ones to enter the Grape Tower, right? What? What's wrong with that? What? When you enter, enter, when you two entered the Grape Tower from the Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? See? So just as I assume, how how did you know? When I was walking around all by myself and went back to Strawberry House for a while, I felt like there was something I missed when suddenly the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed from in front of me. The door automatically closed. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. But why? The door that leads to Strawberry and Grape Top must be designed so only one can open at a time. I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily be find out that both tiles are the same building. If that happens, then it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? And the reason the strawberry door automatically closed in front of you. So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the grape hall door? When that happened, the strawberry hall door didn't open because it was waiting for the strawberry hall door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls inside Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? I mean, it can change! Akane's! Don't be stupid! You don't know? You don't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light into the white wall- in the, into, onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall color has changed. Then what about the picture on the floor? Isn't that is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that's actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. So it's safe to say they're the same building, right? What? But this is a very important problem. Isn't it better if we test it out? Test. Um. For example, we should leave something behind in here. We'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? See. Uh, want me to stay then? Hold on. No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's wall and doors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? <laughs> I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess that the sensor can detect any movement within the tower. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. 
I knew there'd be at least something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can detect your heartbeat. Uh, 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 breathing patterns. Then it can be completely impossible for somebody to sit behind. What about Nekomaru? He's a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside of me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to stop too, right? Like you said, if I cease all functions, the sensor won't detect it, but... Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo prejudice. Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will never regain consciousness until the good night until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You fool. It is far too dangerous. She took that from Gundam. <laughs> it is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the law of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move to Strawberry Tower. Uh, 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 the handbook is still there. We can certainly say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right, let's try. You can't, like... Leave your hoodie or something? Like maybe I could take off a, a take off one of my a, a shoelace and put it there, you know? We left behind Chiaki's e handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Shut up. Chiaki. Hey, hey. Indeed. I see. I see. I must say this elevator is rather quiet. It is like the toad toad's wart. Oh wait, never mind. Hey, hey. Toad's wart. What is what, what's she talking about? It doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It doesn't seem very slowly either. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Uh. The two towers are connected in the middle. The distance between them shouldn't be that much. Hey, hey. Stay back. Wait. Step aside, you fiends. What? In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Pierce through! Supernova, Silver Fox, and D! <laughs> ah, it, it pressed the button. <laughs> Truly, this is the Skyline Lamentation Art of the Demon Mouse. As soon as the door of destiny shall open. Amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have a piece. I see. Your eyes manage to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing! Amazing, truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Thank you. Huh? They are definitely having sex. You don't need to bother making your hamster push it. Mm. Stop hating, Kazuichi. As I thought, it's taking a while to open. Considering what we discussed earlier, if sensor will confirm that there's nothing inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. Large stop from the other side of the door. The handbook's right there. My. Ah, look over there. The moment, the moment we stepped foot inside Strawberry Tower, Sonya raised her voice. When I looked inside where she was pointing, it's there, the handbook. Yep. yep, there's no doubt. This is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left at Great Tower is here, that must mean... <laughs> it seems we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? The door with the grape image. Oh I my see. goodness. 
not an exit, but at least a great tower. Yes. This is troubling. That means we have no idea where the exit is. But I guess it can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> I'm surprised. I can't believe you guys already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally, all you do is stare in the space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. However... However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! There's probably no reason, simply because it's a fun house. All the reason Monokuma needs. Mm. Who are you again? Yes. I'm Monami, why did you forget about me? <clears throat> that reminds me. Whatever happens in a Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. It is, it, is, it, is it that time already? Despite that, there hasn't been a Monokuma announcement. Monokuma appears! Allow me to answer. Every single day up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. Thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys. Did you guys mistake me for some petty alarm clock? Oh well, it's true that I'm pretty, but... Uh, what are you trying to say? For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. You can't go outside and there are no windows here. So it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcement, we could just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry Clock and Grape House have... <laughs> Lounge. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so there's no problem for me anywhere. <laughs> and it's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve <laughs> our energy. For now, let's decide our room assignments. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Why don't we make things simple and split them between boys and girls? Yes. Yes, let us do that. Man. That's a bummer, but well, I guess it makes sense. Too then ladies the first. Now then, let us begin. Now then, kittens. Them your little e-kittens, um, Tanaka? Now then, kittens. Choose which house you would like. Um, Let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is gonna strain my eyes. Oh. And the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house had a guest room in varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard and two crummy? For now. We need to decide those next, huh? There are five rooms in each house, right? And one guy will be left over. <sighs> and that means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way. Rock, paper, scissors! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle began. But the battle between six guys had begun, and the results. <laughs> uh, sorry, I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I totally forgot that Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place, that's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. What's crazy to me is this, if we remember Trigger Happy Havoc, Makoto was supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, but he, ne he was never lucky. I mean, I would say he was lucky, but his luck was very weird. Like, he had the type of luck where he would randomly get kicked in the balls, but for some reason that would save his life. That was the kind of luck he had. It's, it's weird. But Nagito's luck is like way better. Like, he just wins at rock, paper, scissors, you know? Like, he just wins. See, M Makoto, he would have lost rock, paper, scissors, but that would have turned out to save his life. So, <laughs> which is weird. Huh? Sina, you two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner, <laughs> it's me. I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Man. Get the crummy room, huh? Better than rooming with someone. That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. How about you grape girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yeah, yeah we all, we did. We had a brief discussion to settle things smoothly. Sonia and I will have the deluxe room. Apparently, Kakane wants one of the crummy rooms. 
Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's not like that. It's not good for me. You guys may think it's pretty crabby, but it's a place, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um. So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. You can't do that. Oh my. Why not? Well. I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. Um. What are you saying? Sonia? What am I? Huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. W! D I am the ultimate lucky student, cause I get to pe I, I get to be with the people who appreciate me. They appreciate me. They recognize greatness when they see it. The dudes out here, except for Nida, you know, he was no Nida did doubt me, but he was like he was on that type of time where it was like I doubt you, but I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment. The boy was over here like, you got, I don't trust you. You, you've been pulling through. You've been, you've been goaded this whole time. But I still think you might be the traitor. I'm doubting you. The girl's like, nah, how's you made a goat? What we got to doubt him for? He the goat. Chiaki, I knew I loved you for a reason. Like. Even I don't think he tried to trick us. <laughs> it seems you're the only one who thought Hajime was suspicious hey. no you were the one who really of all people you're gonna say that you're really gonna say that right. Hajime you can use one of our leftover rooms nah cuz how 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 is he gonna say that I might head on with my gat don't think that I forgot that don't think that I forgot that uh, I did not forget it the way that he tried to acquit it. He tried to say that I was potentially the traitor. Man, he's just a hater. I remember that in the last episode. You was talking about stuff like a hoe. You said that you don't really know. You said that I might be in cahoots with Manakuma. But the girls, they see the goat. Uh. They see the bro and they know I'm the go and they really really know and they know I'm the foe and they know I'm with the folks and they- <laughs> Alright, stop. Thank you. I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I can have a place to sleep. Oh. Now then, it's a cider. We should turn in for the day. Aw, oh, man. Uh, it's like, doesn't make any sense. You just jealous because I get to be in the same dorm as Sonya? Never mind. I don't even want her for real. I want Chiaki. And so, all the girls except for me ended up staying at the same the night on the second floor of Strawberry House. Now the girls, plus me, stayed at the second floor of Grape House. What are we staring at? Why are you staring at me? Is it a staring contest? Uh, hold on. Three, two, one. I won. Jeez, this is I've got. I was forgotten. Well, I'm used to it after all. Well, she's becoming a masochist, isn't she? So this is the second floor of Grape House. Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. What do you mean? You see, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is a hexagonal. That means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. Sleepy. So sleep, you go sleeping with me. The deluxe rooms are the two rooms on the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? No. Two rooms are the crappy one, right? Hajime, you use the room next to the lounge. Then... So the standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. We really don't need to draw our faces, but nameplates might be a good idea. Good night, good night. sleep tight. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe okay. room. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went out into their guest room. I should get some sleep too. I think I was assigned to the common room that's next to the lounge. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I would definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants.
To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. should not be as funny as it is. That should not be as funny as it is. What the heck? It's morning already. Now, there's no Monokuma announcement. I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over and see what time it is. Let's head over and see what time it is. See, 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 see what time it is. Burka, burka, see what time it is. Head over, see what time it is. Burka, See what time it is. I should, I should, I should, I should see what time it is. Nine o'clock. It's later than I'm used. To, it's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. Now then, what should I do now? What kind of situation. Panicking will accomplish nothing. Might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. If I was to talk to, to serve my energy. That's the end of the episode, guys. Y'all enjoyed? Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and read them all. Tap back to the next episode. Uh. I would continue going, but I planned on streaming today, so I don't have a lot of time to finish this off, so just know that I love you guys. Know that my... Ugh. Peace out.